Hi there. Um, I'm going to do the five facts about me. Um, I saw some other people do that and I thought that's a good idea. So I'm going to do that too. So the first one, I just kind of want to get it over with because it's really nerve wracking. Um, but but I, think, I think I should do it. Um, I think it's really good. It's, I'm proud of it, so it's good. Um, so uh, it's kind of like a rap. Uh, I, I'm not a rapper, so I can't really truly rap it, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to kind of quasi-rap, quasi-spoken word it. Um, so here we go. Okay. I'm an electromagnetic being, so I feel all those things that seem to be unseen. And if I look through my mind's eye, I am able to see where the truth lies. Got a lot to say, so let me summarize. If society's sick and I'm up in its mix, then how can I fit without being in all its cliques? Just trying to find my way on this earth before my time is up and my body turns back into dirt. Sometimes I wish I could live life from death to birth, making all the right moves, being in the right place. What makes me me who's behind this pretty face? The answers to these questions might shock you. Hold up a second while I clear my crown chakra. chakra. This tree-hugging hippie just fucking rocked you. Okay, so that's, that's that. Um, uh, I guess that's kind of a fact about me. I... I wrote something at some time that I'm proud of. There we go. That's 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 that fact. Um, number two is I'm I'm clumsy, really clumsy. Um, but something that I noticed about myself is I'm only clumsy in buildings. I'm not clumsy outside at all. So I hypothesize that it's the structure that that my body is not not familiar with or not comfortable with or something like that um, because when I get outside and in the forest I can run through the forest without tripping once um, but in, inside I walk into walls and um, you know just yeah like it's I'm very clumsy inside but not clumsy outside so I thought that was quite interesting that I'm just I feel very at home and natural in the forest um, and I feel very sure, I think it's, very, I, yeah, I feel very sure of my footing and very sure of myself when I'm, the, in, when I'm in the forest. So I think that might, you know, I think that, I think that might have something to do with it. Um, and, uh, number three, um, I think everyone has superpowers or like some, like super skills that, that, you know, that are, that, that they need to use, I guess, that they should use, I guess, for the betterment of mankind, or the, not even mankind, the betterment of the planet. And um, and since we're all, since everything is connected, I guess the betterment of you know the universe and the reality, I guess. Um, and I think that we all have different ones. Uh, well, I guess some people might have the same ones and stuff like that, but maybe you know maybe they use it use them in a different way or something. Um, but I think mine are. Um, I, it's, it's a little bit hard to explain, but, um, I'll do my best. Uh, I feel like I can see things in my mind's eye energetically. Like, when I, like, like, like when I see two people hug or something like that, like, I can see in my mind's eye their heart chakras opening and, and actually, like, there's, like, this energetic, like, particle meeting or particle like you know I guess it seems like energy like comes from their heart chakras and like meets and like there's colors and stuff and and you know um oppositely you know oppositely I don't know if that's a word but I don't on the other side um you know if there's a like um like negative energy going on like say someone's mad at someone else and they're you know, just like giving them shit or something like that. I can see, like and see in my mind's eye like certain chakras like close like you know like constricting, um, and and also like the you know the person that's doing the yelling like sucking in energy from that person and that other person like you know like energetically like closing in and physically I could you know a lot of the time people like you know physically like you know kind of close in and stuff like that when they're being attacked um and but I, I can also I I think I I'm 
I, I feel like I can see that energetically in my mind's eye. Um, I think that I don't know if I don't know if everyone can do that. Um, it, it's I think it's pretty cool. Um, so I think that's kind of one of my superpowers. Um, and another kind of superpower, I guess. I don't know if this is like a well. I, I think it's a superpower because I think it's amazing and I think it's really it's really helped me in my life. And if other people have this in their life, then I think that's awesome as well. Um, so. I'm not trying to say that I'm like super special and nobody else has these powers. Basically, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. Um, I think that other people have have that ability as well. Um, but uh, so the other one is like basically being able to really step back from cert from a lot of situations and like seeing, like you know how s kind of like kind of like synchronicities, like seeing how seeing how the synchronicities fit together all together to come to one you know to come to one result and stuff like that like for for example um, for example I had decided to move away from Victoria because my neighbors were really not people that I wanted to be around um, and and I was having I was having doubts about like you know my like my neighbors were really they were doing really dramatic stuff and stuff like that that and you know like verbally attacking me and my family and stuff like that and so I was like okay I'm moving and then and I was like well I, I think I should move back home to Vanderhoof which is 12 hours away and um, and so I um, I made that decision but I was having major doubts about it and um, and but they would and then they you know and then when I would have a doubt they would just do something else right like the day that I had the doubt they would do something ridiculously stupid and I'd be like oh yeah that's why I'm moving you know like I I didn't even let it upset me because I was like I, was, I actually was like thank you thank you I know this like this is what my heart wants but my mind is trying to talk me out of it and but then they you know then they would do these stupid things where I could have gotten like extremely angry and upset and you know kind of like pulled into the drama of it I could have gotten pulled into the drama of it but 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 I was able to look back like or not look back but step back and see where all the pieces fit and see where that situation which could have caused a lot of drama was actually helping me helping me go on like on my heart's path which I knew that my heart wanted to get out of the city and I you know, I was definitely right about it because I'm out of the city and I feel so free and stuff so you know, that, I guess that was kind of a long explanation of that one but um, but yeah that's that's that anyway um, and let's see number am I on? I think I'm num on, on number four um, I, I'm an artist I'm a painter um, I, I really like I really like working with lots of lots of colors. Um, I think the stuff that I do is kind of is pretty psychedelic-ish. Um, I think it would have went over really well in the 60s. Uh, but I'll show you guys a few pieces. Okay, this this is called Tima. Um, it's actually a character from the movie, or actually the cartoon Metropolis. Um, yeah, and what I did with this one actually was uh, I took a I took a piece of canvas. This is actually uh, acrylic on glass, and uh, when I was making this one, I took a piece of canvas the same size, uh, and when it, when this was still wet, I just like put it down on the canvas and then took it off. And I wish I had that one here to show you guys. It's really really freaking cool because some parts were dried, but some parts were still wet. So you, it was like a like an impression of this. Really, really, really cool. I really like it. Okay. I'm going to show you guys four, okay? This I really like as well. I don't know if you guys can see the face in that. Um, I don't know if this will do it justice because there's lots of like, um, I don't know, psychedelic like intricate things in this and stuff like that. Here, I'll, here. I'll bring that light in. There we go. That's that. Um, actually, there's kind of like a funny kind of story thing to this one. Um, I did, I did about six. I'll put this down. I did about six um, 
six paintings like this. This is actually acrylic on tile. I can't afford canvas, so um, tile is actually a lot cheaper. Uh, so the story with this one is that um, I was really, really lonely uh, this one night, and I painted six paintings, and they all they all had faces on them. And I just like you know they were all in front of me and and when you paint a face it like gets a it gets like a personality almost you know and uh, I found that I found that the you know I like painted myself six friends and I was I just kind of giggled at myself after that and I was like oh it's funny so anyway um, here's another one this is the biggest one I've done so far and I really really like it. Um, it was done like I. Sorry, I'm gonna get this light in here so you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but anyway, it was done um, from a photograph taken. It was done from a photograph taken uh, when when I was about 15. This is my best friend, and then my um, my kids' dad, and then me in that picture. Um, and the green is, we're walking to the park where we uh, sat and smoked pot all the time. And actually, now that I think about it, it, I was like, oh, what a waste of time, you know, my teenage years, just sitting smoking pot in a park. But then I'm thinking about it, I was like, I was sitting on the ground, which is, you know, I was probably getting the energy from the earth. And we were sitting around smoking pot, having philosophical conversations. I don't think that's too much of a waste, actually. So, pretty happy with that. And this is another one. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's kind of the stuff that I do. It's like, like uh, abstract stuff. I really like working with a lot of color. and It's just fun and relaxing to me to paint like that. And so anyway, um, the last one is... Um, you guys are going to laugh at this. Uh, um, I think that I'm descended from wood nymphs or something. I think so. I'm either descended from wood nymphs or uh, from like an alternate reality that uh, that has wood nymphs in it or something like that. Um, I just I just feel very 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 connected to forests, and um, you know I, I wish I could live in a treehouse um, or in a cave or something like that. Uh, yeah, and uh, actually recently I got, I got this, I just saw this and I was like, wow, this is awesome. I call this my, uh, my wood nymph badge. It's a, it's a pine cone cut in half. Isn't it beautiful? And it's a little pin. So I put it on my shirt, like a brownie pin, except for it's my, my wood nymph pin. My wood nymph badge. Yeah. I love it. Um, and yeah, so very proud to be um, one quarter wood nymph. Uh, so that's five facts about me. And uh, if, if you've watched this video and made it all the way through, then, um, then I encourage you definitely to respond to this one uh, telling five facts about you. Because, yeah, I really want to know. Um, and that's it. Love you all very much. Okay. Bye-bye.